हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो बाय कंटिन्यूइंग द सीरीज ऑन एल के ब्रायोफाइट्स एंड द लाइक नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज़ द इकोनॉमिक इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ एल सो यूज ऑफ द एल गी एज ए फूड एंड अ फोडर इन एग्रीकल्चर इन द और वी कैन से इन फार्मास्यूटिकल्स एंड इन इंडस्ट्रीज हैज बिन इन यूज फ्रॉम अ लॉन्ग टाइम एज ए फूड इट वॉज यूज इन चाइना अराउंड सिक्स हंड्रेड बी सी सो फाइकोलॉजिस्ट ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आर कॉन्स्टेंटली सर्चिंग फॉर द बेनिफिशियल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द एल गी सो फॉलोइंग आर द टू बेसिक कंसेप्ट रिलेटेड टू द इकोनॉमिक इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ एल गी फर्स्ट इज इट्स बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट्स एंड सेकेंड द हार्मफुल इफेक्ट्स दैट इट पोजेस सो फर्स्ट इज बेनिफिशियल इफेक्ट्स सो फर्स्ट इज एज अ प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर सो वाट आर प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर्स दे आर द फर्स्ट वंस इन द ट्रॉपिक लेवल वी कैन से और इन द फूड चेन दे बिलोंग टू द ट्रॉपिक लेवल वन दे आर ऑटोट्रॉप्स तो एल सो एल गी प्रजेंट इन फ्रेश एंड सी वाटर एक्ट एज अ प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर फॉर द फिशेज दैट इज फिशेज फीड अपॉन दैम एंड अदर वाटर एनिमल्स देन एडिबल सो मेम्बर्स ऑफ फीयोफाइसी एंड रोडोफाइसी आर यूज मोर एज ए फूड दिस इज बेसिकली दे आर इटन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फूड फ्यू मेम्बर्स ऑफ क्लोरोफाइसी ड्यू टू द प्रजेंस ऑफ प्रोटीन विटमिनस मिनरल्स कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स दे आर ऑल्सो कंज्यूम्ड एज ए फ्यूड सो बेसिकली फॉर द प्रोपर्टीज दट दे पोजेस दे आर इटन देन साइनोफाइसी सो नो स्टोक कम्यून एज अ टाइप ऑफ अ ब्लू ग्रीन एल गी इट इज़ यूज एज अ फूड इन जावा एंड चाइना इट इज़ कॉमनली नोन एज यूचो दैट इज फूड इज नोन एज यूचो स्पायरोना इन साइनोफाइसी ओनली सो इट इज़ यूज एज अ फूड फॉर द सप्लीमेंट्री टू द फूड एट कंटेन्स मेनली द प्रोटीन आयरन एंड मैनी वाइटमिनस एंड मिनरल्स दैन इन केस ऑफ क्लोरोफाइसी so first example is chlorella it is used as a food as it is has high content of protein vitamins minerals and lipids because of its high nutritional value it is much used in japan usa and germany uh, vitamin a b c and minerals possessed by it are the potassium phosphorus calcium magnesium iron zinc cobalt and manganese so again codium is used as a salad in japan monostroma is commonly used as a food in japan that is known as onori uh, alva lactua known as sea lettuce it is used as a salad also spirogyra and udogonium their plant thallus are used in making the soup basically algal uh, body is known as thallus so they are used in making the soup and then few phycy so they contain 557% carbohydrates 9% lipids and abundant amount of iron and potassium they have so they are used also in a form of food uh, example is laminaria so in japan food prepared from this algae is known as kombu it is used in dry or powdered form uh, the powder is either used as a tea or a base for a soup and also used to add flavor to rice and vegetables so it is basically used as a seasoning then andaria so thallus fragments sporophylls midrib are edible these are parts are edible here used in dry fresh or in salted forms uh, seaweeds are basically rich in iodine niacin folic acid and vitamin b and c then alaria so in japan food prepared from this algae is known as uh, serumen uh, protein content is 6.15 percent 17 amino acids are there carbohydrate level is 57.4 percent fats are 1.36 percent then durvidia it is used in salted form in south america macrocyst is vitamin a and e therefore it is used as a food because of nutritional value a uh, necrocyst is so the stipe and the other part of this algae are used to make a food product known as seatron then in rhodophyce Uh, the members are basically chondrus crispus it is known as iris moss it is used as a base in ice cream and some other food materials uh, then palmaria so it it is the common sea food in ireland iceland and the canada uh, porphyra so it is used in rice or in soups it is rich in vitamin b and c it is commercially produced in the shallow waters on the 
a sheltered sea coast of japan so basically it is uh, produced for commercial purpose for earning the money as it is edible protein content is 30 to 35 percent carbohydrate 40 to 45 percent vitamin a b c and niacin was there then another beneficial use of algae is it is used as a fodder so it is used as a stock feed for hens cattle sheep in scotland and ireland uh, many species of laminaria egregia escophyllum fucus and sargassum are commonly forms of fodder that is used in china japan and uk uh, members such as chlorophaco and rhodophyce are also used basically uh, members belonging to these only uh, butter fat content is richer of the cattle which feed on seaweeds that is they have much content of fat content in their uh, milk a uh, few fishes use diatoms as their food that is uh, they also act as a food for the fishes uh, planktonic algae is used by few fishes protozoans and other smaller aquatic animal for their survival uh, pelvitia is used as a fodder for cows uh, in japan then iodine content of the eggs of hens is rich which fed on the fucus and escophyllum algae so basically due to their nutritional property uh, they are helpful for the cattle and hens as we can see uh, rhodomania as a cattle feed in france it is known as sheep's weed because sheep feed on them that's why then some green algae diatoms blue green algae are used by fishes okay as a food hence they play a great role in pc culture also uh, they have an importance there algae that is used in agriculture so in coastal areas seaweeds are used as a manure as their use enriches the agricultural fields with mineral nutrients which are essential for growth of the crops algae also helps in soil binding as normally plants can do this function also so members of cyanophyce are considered the better fertilizers because they have better content of nitrogen and phosphorus uh, that's why and now in case of agriculture use uh, concentrated extract of many seaweed is used as a liquid fertilizer that and uh, that is in liquid form in those a field which show the deficiency of calcium farmers add cara lithophyllum and lithoamnion these algae so that the fields uh, have a increased content of calcium later uh, thiv in 1960 reported an increase in the yield of a lady finger uh, when seaweed manure was added to fields so basically this was an experiment that is uh, algae was proved useful Irish farmers use fucus plants as a manure in their fields to increase the productivity. Then industrial application of algae. So agar agar is used as a base to prepare the culture media for various microorganisms. Uh, it is used for paper sizing, coatings, in textile printing, and in dyeing industries. its use as adhesive is quite remarkable also uh, in case of pharmaceuticals basically three uh, uh, main uses are there first in the formation of that is agar agar so what is agar agar it is a complex polysaccharide and jelly like substance and obtained from uh, gelidium gracilarial species of algae at a low concentration of 1.15% it is capable of producing gel at a room temperature that is it produces gel it is used in treatment of constipation many capsules tablets and anticoagulants are made from it okay uh, a clear gelatinous nitrogen free extract is made from this this nitrogenous extract is used in making uh, food stuffs also it is used in leather cosmetics and textile industry then alginates so alginates these are actually the source of alginic acids that are present in the cell wall of members of pheophyce example lesonia lemonaria fucus and macrocystis uh, uh, are the examples of pheophyce then plastic material that is made up of alginates are used in making dental impression uh, they are also used as a gouge in internal operation Uh, they are also used in ta capsules tablets lotions and cream used in sizing of fabrics and paper industry um 
also in adhesive textile printing dyeing of the leather and emulsifier and paint industry uh, flame proof plastics and fabrics fabrics are also made from them and they have also hold importance in the rubber and tire industry then the keratinins so they are found in the cell wall of certain members of rhodophyce example is chondrus crispus doctors use it as a blood coagulant uh, to stop the blood clotting uh it is used to relieve the constipation and it acts as a laxative it is used in making shampoo toothpaste food textile and deodorants then another use is in hello metabolites so what are these these are the metabolites in which chlorine and bromine halogens are inserted with the help of enzymes so these are involved in biological defense mechanism uh, to, uh we can say and they act as a antimicrobial and insecticidal agents so chief source of hello metabolites are marine algae so that is from marine algae hello metabolites are obtained then diatomite so these are the members of bacillus um, bacillariophyce uh, they occur in fresh or sea water uh, they are basically unicellular single celled animals colonial or filamentous forms they are known as jewels of plant kingdom due to their various uh, uh, different shapes that they possess the product of photosynthesis is oil that is they produce oil by the process of photosynthesis so it is estimated that a significant percentage of world's petroleum supply is of diatoms origin uh, fireproof they are fireproof so they are used in uh, boilers insulation of refrigerators and furnaces then algae that is used in research so they are used in physiological biochemical oceanographic limnological and oncological research purposes uh, acetabularia was used by a scientist hammerling who reported that first nucleus is director of the eukaryotic cell that is he first of all discovered that thing uh, by experimenting on acetabularia uh, melvin calvin used chlorella during the photosynthesis to give his important research finding in the calvin cycle uh, we are going to discuss later in plant physiology uh, topic that is what is a calvin cycle then the harmful effects of algae was also there so their extensive growth in the water bodies can pollute the water and interfere with the filtration process of the water um, then microcystis an algae produce toxins in water reservoirs which kills the fishes uh, water blooms clogs the gills of the fishes so that they can't uh, breathe leading to their death then growth of algae on the moist walls damages the buildings and heritage monuments cephalurose it is a parasitic algae on the tea and coffee plantations so it causes huge loss to those plantations uh, there is a uh, an algae gongludox catenella that is eaten by fish it have some toxin that is engulfed by the fish and later on when human consume those fishes uh, it this may lead to poisoning and that may lead to uh, their death also so these are the diagrams we can say algae of algae which are which have a economic importance macrocystis uh, neurocystis neurocystis that is it is the stipe part that is edible uh, lamina was there hold fast and uh, laminaria and also the alva it is stock so yeah this is all about the economic importance of algae hope you will like my video and if you like my video please do like share and subscribe to my channel